So for you, you see it like as a the whole family winning. You see yourself as an investment, an asset to the family of which obviously like if you go to varsity, you graduate, get a job, if you get a job or whatever the situation might be, you come back, you're going to be able to assist. Hey yo, what's good, what's good? Oh, welcome to it, man. It's a flipping brand new year. And we're back with nothing but brand new content. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Let's make things. Let's shake the pulse. This is a new year. Let's take it to the top. You know what I mean? But anyway, look, this is something that has been on my heart for quite some time. I go by the name of Blacko, aka the Black Ball for the Babies. Welcome to it. It's the mother flipping yicking building. That's the channel, that's how it goes. But anyway, what has been on my heart for quite some time since from 2016? Yep, that's how long it has been. Uh, when, especially like this one is directed straight like to, to the matriculants, not only the matriculants, but to everybody out there who thinks that family members are supposed to assist you in some kind of way financially or whatsoever. This is how it goes. I've learned this by myself. I had the same perception that you had in the beginning. But now, what I want to tell you is that you're going to be on some like, I'm going to varsity, they need to assist me with the filing, they need to pay for me, so that like, uh, we can all win. So for you, you see it like, as a, the whole family winning, you see yourself as an investment, an asset to the family of which obviously like, if you go to varsity, you graduate, get a job, if you get a job, or whatever the situation might be, you come back, you're going to be able to assist some of the youngsters in your family. That's how you see it, like you see it in your own perspective, but not looking at the perspective of the family members, the relatives. I mean like, bro, everybody's going through their own stuff, first and foremost. You're gonna grow up, you're gonna see this. If you want people to pay for you, sharp, let's say they pay for you, then after you're done with your studies, you wanna live your life. You wanna go out, you wanna travel, have a house, have a car, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. But now, when you have people who are on your back on a daily basis, on some like, yo, you need to assist the kid, you need to assist that who's one, two, one, two, you're gonna come back and scream out black text. So, the better way for you to do this is understand that everybody's working out whatever they have in their mind and whatever they have in front of them. So, like, literally, if you think that people are gonna assist you, yeah, there are people who are gonna assist you. I often hear people saying that strangers are more relatives. Like, okay, some some families are experiencing that shit, but with me, what I've experienced that everybody's busy with their own stuff. Like, relatives have kids. Kids need to go to school. Kids need to eat. They want to build houses. They they want to create like a better life for themselves. And now they have to incorporate you while you've got your parents, or you've got whoever's looking out for you, it becomes like a bit of, it becomes sketchy in a way that now they, they're not gonna be able to do their stuff because they're gonna be assisting you, you know? You often hear people run up with that. They are unable to come through to get out to assist, but when there's a funeral in the household, they're able to come. Bro, it's a fucking funeral. What do you expect them to do? You just fucking sit back and be like, whatever happens, happens. They have to assist, dog. You understand? But these things, they weigh in differently. From like your point of view, you're looking like in one direction. And so like a funeral is still the same as my career. My career, I can like uplift everybody in the household. But you need to understand that they need to uplift their kids too. They've got lives, bro. Understand? So they've got lives. Push your own thing. Apply for batteries, man. Do whatever you gotta do in order for you to secure some some financial challenges to be able to find your school staff and go out there and rock the wall. You understand? But don't be holding back yourself on some like relatives owe you anything. Nobody owes you anything. Like literally nobody owes you none. I'm not gonna call it that next. So entitled on some like my family members need to assist me. Your family members, the only thing they need to assist you with is give you the support, give you the guidance. But if you think that like you're gonna get money from them if you think like there are other family members who will assist you there and there but they can't pay for everything they can't give you everything they've got their own lives dog 
You understand? So that's how it pulls up. That's how it goes in this world. So if you're out there thinking we're going to maybe ah, I'm gonna get system like it. No, no, relax, Paula. People have got their own things that they're going through. You're gonna see this is the more you grow up. You know what I mean? Like some of the stuff that I used to post like on Facebook two years back, but when I look at them now, I'm like, ha! Huh, did I really fucking say that? Cause that's insane. That's out of like the box in a way that it's nonsense. You know what I mean? But anyway, man, look. Be strong, hold on, do whatever you gotta do. For me, your boy Black Wolf for the babies. Share this thing, like. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Peace out. We out. Boom, shakalaka, boom.